What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and today we're taking a look at the brand new FuryTech Betel Comp Chassis for the Traxxas TRX4M. So FuryTech's been on the gas ever since the TRX4M was released. They've been putting out upgrades after upgrades, really innovative and excellent stuff for this model. Just a few weeks ago, we got the Grasshopper carbon fiber ladder style chassis, which opened up a lot of additional functionality and customization options for the TRX4M. But now they've just released a new comp style chassis that strips away all of the non-necessities that gives us a raw performance focused chassis option for the TRX4M. So if you're really looking to take your TRX4M to the next level of performance, this is probably a great chassis option for you. So we're going to put this on the Bronco. The Bronco is going to take another step in the evolution. It's going to shed its body, its bumpers, all that stuff. It's going to get a complete makeover. So it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be totally different, but I'm excited to check this thing out because this is a beautiful piece of hardware, all titanium, only weighs about 41 grams, super light, super strong, very cool looking. So let's jump in and check out the chassis and then we'll get to installing it. Here's our little kit. It comes in this very small box. Oh, look at that. This is the rainbow titanium finish. Look at that thing shine. Wow, this is beautiful looking. Let's see what we get. Not a lot of pieces here, no instructions, but this isn't our first rodeo, so we'll figure it out. Look at the frame rails. I love the rainbow titanium. It is so light, crazy, crazy light. So I'm imagining what we've got here. We've got our chassis set up like this. So this is our ESC tray. It's going to go up here in the middle like this. Again, this is slotted just like the grasshopper was. Very easy to put together. Nice fit and finish already. We have a roof for this one. So we'll put this right here. Just kind of mock this up. Anyway, that's basically, you know, that's what it's going to look like. We have the roof on the top. And your ESC and electronics would be here on this carbon fiber tray. It utilizes stock skid plate and your linkage, stock axles. You're eliminating the ladder chassis and the body, and you're just popping in these titanium frame rails in this new tray. So this should be a pretty easy swap. Remember when we did the grasshopper chassis, it was very easy. So this should be pretty quick and painless. We've got our hardware here. Looks very similar to the Grasshopper, which we just did fairly recently, so this still feels pretty fresh. But let's take a look close look at this thing. And I just love the titanium finish. This comes in two options. There is a full carbon fiber option, and then the titanium option that we have here. Now this is available for pre-order at the time of this recording. I imagine orders will start shipping in the next week or two. But this is a brand new release and very, very beautiful looking piece of hardware. It's going to strip the Bronco down to nothing, man. This is going to be different. Here it is with the Grasshopper chassis. So look at the, the size difference here. It's just going to be this tiny little thing. And so the motor and battery tray will sit right in here on the bottom. We'll just move our electronics, our very small electronics, up to the tray, and that'll be it. Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Significantly more options for shock placements on this one, all the way up and down the archway in the front here, and pretty similar amount of shock placements in the back compared to the Grasshopper. So why don't we get to installing this thing? Like I said, it should be a fairly easy swap. What I'm going to do is just start loosening things up on the Bronco, and then we'll just kind of peel off the grasshopper and then throw the betel on here and see how it goes. Let's get after it. Here is the betel. Look at this thing. Holy transformation, right? My little Bronco is gone. 
no remnants of it whatsoever. This thing is mean and serious. It means business. It's just nothing but mechanics, wheels and tires, and just aggressiveness. I gotta say, it looks super mean. Went together just as easy as I hoped. Very simple swap. It's really just six bolts on the chassis. You, know, you unbolt right here along the skid plate, pop out the battery tray, and then that's pretty much it. It was very, very simple. It took 30 minutes to do the whole swap and get everything wired up and everything. Very, very simple. So I dig these chassis kits because they're so easy to swap in and out. So if I miss my Bronco body, I can swap it out in half an hour's time. So no love lost there. But this is very, very sharp looking. I love you got the Fury Tech motor, the Stinger, the Micro Komodo just sticking out there in the front. The big servo hanging out here almost looks like a rhinoceros horn in the front. This thing just has a very animalistic look to it. Just a primal, aggressive appearance. And I dig it. I was hesitant at first. You know, when Fury Tech sent me this, I was like, oh, this isn't really my style. But seeing it in person, it really looks mean. And I'm really excited to check it out. For the shock placement, you see that so many options for shock placements. I just threw them in what I felt made it sit the way I wanted it to initially. Feels like it's got plenty of movement. Definitely, he's got tons of stretch. And hopefully, we'll see how this performs. I got lots of room to adjust if I get any front end lift. The back, it has tons of room in the back. Look at that thing articulate. This thing is going to be wild. So everything tucks in under the roof really nice. The battery slides right in. I like that I was able to retain the stock battery tray. You slide it right in and out just like you do in stock. Everything plugs in right here. I just used some double-sided tape to stick everything down on the tray. Really, really easy. So let's fire this thing up and get it on the course and see how this thing performs and see if it acts as mean as it looks. All right, we got power, everything works. Everything feels good. Let's hit the course and see what it can do. First run, battle chassis, let's check it out. Oh, I'd love seeing that motor in there. This is crazy. You never know it was a Traxxas TRX 4M. Holy smokes, this thing is nuts looking. Tell you what, the cool factor of this thing is like off the charts. You got the purple and blue lights going on inside with the Fury Tech. You got the Komodo spinning up, the titanium chassis. This thing is wild looking. Those big Losi shocks also look super intimidating on there. The whole thing is just gnarly looking. Wasting no time, let's see what this thing can do on the vertical climbs here. Hell's Gate right off the bat.
It is very planted. Just kind of getting used to driving it here. Oh boy, it's fast. Unless we just dominated Hell's Gate, so escalator shouldn't be an issue. Pretty impressive. So let's try to shoot while we're here. Of course, no issue there. Super smooth. Man, this thing's impressive, I gotta say. Oh, look at it go. Oh my gosh, this thing is wild. This thing's crushing the indoor course, guys. This is impressive. Chassis behaves really well on declines also. Just seems to be really well sorted out. Look at the vertical. Man, this is nuts. the side hill too. Holy, this thing sticks like glue. Look at this thing, holy cow, man. Thing is like defying gravity. What a wild build this thing is. <laughs> What's this thing doing? It's possessed. Man, this thing is nuts. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll give you my final thoughts in just a minute. I'm having a ton of fun with this thing, but got to close it out. The Battle Chassis. This thing is mighty impressive. I got to say, 
I was hesitant to install this, like I said, because I didn't want to give up my Bronco and my somewhat scale looks, although I've kind of blown past scale appearance on the TRX 4M a long time ago. But I was hesitant to get rid of the body entirely because I'm not usually a big fan of the comp style chassis like this one is. But I got to say the performance is so impressive that I think I might have been turned to a believer here. Now I'm on the fence like do I buy another TRX 4M and build a scale version, bring back Black Betty but on a more scale level and keep the Betel as kind of the evil comp crawler? I don't know but I'm really impressed with it I gotta say. This totally turned my thinking around with this comp chassis. So I think this really shines a light on a couple things with the TRX 4M that even with the grasshopper chassis retaining that stock body you still carry a lot of weight up high. I haven't weighed that stock body but I imagine it's got to be pretty heavy because the performance gains that we made with the Betel chassis are outrageous and I gotta think it's because of the weight we've kept down low by getting rid of the that big body and we've just kind of just squashed everything in the middle and brought everything down and centered. So the way that this has now manipulated the weight and compacted everything just makes it one heck of a performer. And this thing is wild on the course. I really dig the titanium look too. It makes me wish I had some brighter colored wheels. Maybe I'll get some rose gold wheels or something like that to put on here. I think it's just got such a cool look to it. So I don't know, the more I talk about it and the more I kind of look at it and mull over the results and everything, the more I'm kind of digging it. So I wanna, I'm, I'm going to leave it on for a while, still run it. I want to get it out on the rocks too and see how this thing does in real world conditions. Generally, if a rig does really good on the course, it does outstanding on the rocks. So this is going to be really cool to see how it does on the rocks when I get it outside. But all in all, really impressed with it. Cool kit, I got to say. Very impressive. So, I mean, if you're looking to take your TRX 4M to the highest heights of competition readiness, I think this is a great chassis option to use. And I'm really glad I got my hands on it. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Betel chassis? And should we keep it like this? Should we do another scale build and then just keep this as a TRX 4M comp crawler? Be cool to do a showdown between the SCX24 comp crawler and the TRX 4M comp build now. That might be something we look at next. But let me know your thoughts down below. Always want to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much to Fury Tech for sending me over this Betel chassis. I'm going to put the link in the description down below if you want to pre-order it. Like I said, it comes in two different options. You got the carbon fiber and you got the titanium like we got here. But definitely check it out down below. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.